and we're live already so let's just go ahead and get a quick look at this shall we all right i'm not gonna be here for long we're just gonna look at the mule real quick because uh we like the mule so this is not going to be a very long stream however we are in ptu and apparently the mule has snuck in to this particular build. Hey, Jonathan. Hey, DK. It's been a while, bud. We're gonna go drive the Drake mule. And while we're on the tram, we'll go check its, uh, you know, its, its bits, its bobs, its stats, its, uh, its various things. Oh, Jonathan, you and me both. Although, I am probably going to make a quick stop by, by Genie. Um, so that way if things go south, which they like to do with ground vehicles, I can, you know, quickly get back into the action. Hey, Coyote, that's right. Ah, Jonathan, it's, it's had its ups and downs. A little downs yesterday, but... But let's celebrate. Where is it? Where is it? Ha-ha! <laughs> Chaos, the Drake Mule is a ground-based ship. Well, I say ship. It's, it's, it's a buggy. It's for loading cargo and delivering cargo. Look at this little thing. Look at it! Look at it! It's so cute! Oh, it's a little stubby buggy. Oh, it's... Oh, it's so... Stubby! Yeah, Power, that's true. Like, the latest thing we had was the Corsair, and I think that was 2019. And really... You know, ground vehicles... Eh... Maybe Drake will become, like, the bad boy of industrial shipbuilders. I like- I like all this extra space down below it. Okay, alright, what do we got? We got a power plant, we got a cooler, and, uh... Wow. That's it! We got a power plant and a cooler? <laughs> wow! There is not much to this thing. Whew. Whew. Hey, Dragnos. And, uh, Raziel, apparently, they already got its description from CIG. Or at least, you know, the... The, the, the sail description, and... You're supposed to be able to do... Ground delivery jobs, or help load up vehicles, so... I guess combination truck slash space forklift? Uh, let's see. AJ wanted to know if this thing will fit in the Nomad, and while I doubt it, we're gonna go find out. Hang it too. Oh, McPanzer! There's so many reasons why we need the Drake Mule. The Drake Mule feels, feels a niche. Uh, in something that hasn't uh, come to the game yet. Four-dimensional chess. Uh, man, I'm gonna be honest. It's it's an LTI token. It, it's an LTI token. I was gonna try to come up with some sort of thing about how it's going to let us take advantage of untapped gameplay potential, but it it's an LTI token. Hey, <laughs> Anarchy. It, it might it might have life support. We don't we don't know yet. We're gonna go find out. Hey, Temple. Yeah, the the Drake Mule. See, Dragnos. That's what I'm kind of hoping. Really, just an excuse to fly a Drake ship, you know. But yeah, give me a moment. What in the world? Did you guys just hear that? 
Got a large series of beeps there. Hey, Parker. I'm gonna stop by by Genie right quick though, because again, um, I tend to explode in ground vehicles. Hey, squirrel. And good power. It's not just me then. You know what, Emerald? I'm good with it. Drake Mule can be as buggy as it wants to be. I can't wait to drive it and then someone goes, Hey, Jack, how is it? And I can go, <laughs> It's a little buggy! Oh, yeah, deplorable. You and me both. What, Dragnos? You didn't, you didn't like that joke? I love that joke. I made that joke when The Rock came out. Aw, oh, Sloppy, really? What, what are you in? Thank you, Jonathan. I love that joke. I have so many bad jokes. Yeah, Raziel. You know, technically there's like eight ground routes you could do. The problem is they're literally on the other side of a moon and uh, you're gonna make all of $12 running them in a mule. Oh, Coyote, it'll happen. Shoot, I'll drive one. I might not win, but by golly, I'll drive one. Alright, let me, uh, again, set my spawn point, because ground vehicles and I tend to mix like water and potassium. Hey, there's AJ. AJ, I'm pulling a Nomad so I can tell you if it'll fit. I don't think it's gonna fit, but, you know, this, this is for you. Sloppy, that's weird. Is it happening during quantum to a planetary location? Or is it happening just under regular flight? Oh, thank you, Jonathan. I was actually asked to leave chemistry. I say that. I wasn't asked. I was I was told. I was kicked out. Uh, yes, Austin. Yes, it is. Sloppy, does it happen if someone else flies? I'm wondering if there's, like, maybe some sort of desync issue? Sorry, we might end up playing 20 questions here. And it happens just no matter what. Even if you're just, like, slow boating it down, no quantum. See, Dragnos, that's what I'm thinking. All right. Yeah, Austin, it, it's a ground vehicle. That's why I'm actually transferring my imprint up here. Um, because I, I, uh, I have a really bad history with ground vehicles in Star Citizen. They tend to explode. Um, with me. And them. So, I didn't want to have to wake up at Art Corp every single time I bought the farm. And I buy the farm a lot in ground vehicles. Uh, what pad am I on? Hey, James. Have not taken my meds yet. These are my, my night meds that they've switched me to until I get the other meds. Which will still be night meds, but the other meds are the ones I have to take, you know, first. Yeah, Austin, it's like a... Well, it's not even... Okay, imagine a pickup truck that has a covered bed. Like, you know, the little camper covers. That's basically what it looks like. Imagine a six-wheeled, tall pickup truck with a camper cover. I mean, Dragnos will get them eventually. Not, you know, right off the bat, but they're finally on the way. 
Oh, thank you. They're, they're, they're all right. Um, they've got me on Losartan right now because the ACE inhibitors were giving me that awful cough, which the coughing has started to subside. I'm only... I'm only a little coffee now. I'm not going to subject you guys to that joke again. Yeah, yeah, Parker, that's, that's my big issue. So we're gonna... Am I not around? What is that? Is that Waller or Lyria? That's Lyria. Let's go drive on Lyria. Thank you. Yeah, like it's a combination pickup truck forklift. Yeah, Austin, that's what I'm believing. Either that or they had the vehicle ready, so at the very least they could sell it, you know? Oh, Parker, I'm sorry. Let's see, I need a, I need an SAL. Hopefully they're not in the... Yeah, that's in the daytime. James. Uh, please be daytime. It's daytime! Aha! CIG is really bad about putting headlights on new vehicles. Yeah, Raziel, the thing about the Nomad is one, check out this leather seat. Like, look at that stitched leather. Uh, two, realistically, like, there's actually food preparation areas. Um, a seat, like, you know, a chair, like, you can just legitimately sit down. I mean, Austin, that's fair. You could always use it as, like, a, a leisure vehicle. It's like, look at me, driving around in a working man's vehicle. I'm part of the salt of the earth. Clearly not an industrial magnate. Captain of industry, that's not me at all. You have to, you have to do the, the old-timey mid-Atlantic voice, too. Like, it's just part of it. Ah, uh, one day, they'll, like, fix the landing on this thing. Uh, you know, Marcus, I don't actually know if it matters because they kind of randomly distribute them. I'm going to be honest, though. I'm not a major miner. I'm only a minor miner. Uh, any of the more dedicated miners in the chat, if you guys could, could pitch in on sweet spots, I would appreciate it. Because, uh, like you can, you can ask Crumpet. I'm terrible at mining. Hey, Chris, why, thank you. Yeah, Cody, I did. Now, the first thing we get to find out is uh, what the insurance claim time is. Because, you know, I have to claim it to here. The Drake Mule. Ah, eight seconds. That sure is a, a long delivery time. <laughs> Eight seconds. All right, you guys ready? A dungeon runner. I loved that game, by the way. That was a fun MMO. That is the Drake Mule. <laughs> Crumpet Mule. I, I, I don't, can, can I even do that? Mule... Mewoo, I I can't. That is so hard to say. Oh, it's so stubby. Oh, it's so short and fat. You know what this looks like? Okay, okay. 
You guys remember Thomas the Tank Engine? And they had all those saddle tank engines, like, uh... Oh god, what was his name? It's been so long. Scarloey? I think it was. That's what this looks like. This looks like the Star Citizen version of Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh my god, it's adorable. Oh my god. How do I get into this contraption? <laughs> oh, what? 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 Congratulations. Huh? <laughs> Will! Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Thank you. That That's probably going to go towards my Drake Mule right there. So it's got, it's got a fuel port. And you can retract it and, and, all right, all right. Look at this. We have traditional wheels instead of that weird thing they got going on, like, with the Cyclones. Yes, Crumpet, I want a mule race. I want to go donkey riding. How do you, ah, enter driver's seat. Oh, wow, yeah, that beeping is happening a lot. Okay, so it has a very gray cat-like entry. Why why is it beeping? It's very quiet. There's no Alright, all you Star Trek fans out there are gonna love this. Engage systems! What do you do? Deploy? Oh, 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 we got our, we got our, our little forklift things. Oh, we got our little forklift things. Congratulations. Oh, oh Timble. Thank you, Timble. <laughs> oh, oh, this, is, let's, let's take it on the road. Oh. Oh, 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 Temple Austin, thank you guys. You didn't have to do that, thank you. Oh, 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 oh it's, it's, it's adorable. Look at this, look at it bounce. It's so happy to be here. Look at that. I think it's just having a good time. Like there, there are no engine sounds to this thing. Like it's just, it's just happy to be here. Like it's having a time. It's, you know, I should probably watch where I'm going. Ah, yeah. See, I would have hit that rock. But can it fly? Not really. Uh oh. Okay, so it's got like an acceleration oof sound. <laughs> yeah, Austin, I can't wait to load with it. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap, but I wanna, I wanna play bumper cars in this with you. Like this is a bumper buggy, right? Oh no. Oh, frag and frackers, this this is the Drake Mule. It's gonna be straight to buggyable in in three eight or three seventeen point one. Yeah, I don't think this was supposed to go to PTU. But it's got a cute little forklift in the front that you can deploy and it's not fast. It's not fast at all. Yeah, this is, this is the funnest thing I've ever done. Oh, Dave! Thank you, Dave. The space trash, do, do you mean Drake? Do you mean Drake? Oh, how do we, how do we, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. What does the rear do? 
Okay, that's retract for the front. Okay, I can't do anything with the rear. The rear just exists. But, let's see if it fits in a Nomad. Yeah, there's a lot of beeps involved with this Drake Mule. I wonder if those beeps are to let you know that the sound hasn't been added, maybe? AJ, I have no idea. Like, it feels pretty calm, honestly. Yeah, Malcolm, it's a, it's a baby raft. Look at that. They got a, a little tiny air conditioning unit back there. Right there to hit you in the back of the head. Oh, right, right, right. The cargo. Um, Ah, over there. And then... We'll, uh, you know, load it in the Nomad. Wait, that's not cargo. Cargo is... You know what? I'll just drive through the cargo. And AJ, I, I have... I don't know. I don't know what fits on those. I thought you could walk along those. I grossly underestimated. Yeah, it looks like you could put little delivery boxes right there, doesn't it? Are you a panel? Can I open you? Well, there's the power plant and a battery. This thing runs on a battery. Yeah, buddy. Wow, that is a lot of deployable room for that. And same. Same, Parker. All right, we're going to go drive this to the... Yeah, thank you, Dave. I just... I feel like I don't say thank you to you guys enough, you know? And Dave, I don't think, uh... I, I don't think it has personal storage. We're gonna go find out, though. I gotta say, I do enjoy the way this thing drives. Like, it's not the fastest buggy in the West, but... It feels solid. Like, I feel like I'm actually driving a vehicle. Uh, yeah, let me get back on the gravity grid right quick, or at least the things, and see if I can access inventory. Mmm, ah, aha! You can stand there and, and activate the inventory. Look at that. Ah, look at that. My little buggy, my little buggy. Uh, oh yeah, chaos, but it's still fun. All right, all right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let me buy one S. Oh, we gotta go with barrel. Oh, we gotta buy barrel. Oh, is there KR? I missed that button entirely. All right, so we got... Uh, you know what? I'm not even wearing armor, so I can't... Uh... We'll just put that local. We'll put a hat in there. All right. Let's do this. Look at our little... Our little... Oh. Yep, power it holds one SCU. You know, I'm kind of sad that they didn't put the box on the top. Like, if they just drop this down and then the box storage would be on top, like an actual little, little pickup truck. And then, because it's cold out here, we're gonna give our mule a little hat. There, it has a. Wow, that hat takes up 4% storage. That is a big hat. That's right, Austin. Alright, can I access anything up here? No? Okay. I tried. <laughs> Austin, yeah! Uh, where, where is the, is that the, okay, that's the radar? Oh, all these little spots on it. That is the computer. We have a computer. 
First computer blades confirmed. Yeah, exactly, Power. I'd like that. I'd drive the first Drake garbage truck. A lot of beeps. A lot of beeps with this thing. Ah, I got you, KR. Okay, yeah, I found the fuel port. I don't think I looked at it, anything else. Whoa! Whoa! Zero turn! This thing has zero turn! Look at that! The rover doesn't even have that. Yeah, Roball, it's tidy. Look at this. It's it's like a little zero turn mower. Yeah, it's here. Like it's it's the, all the wheels are fixed, but it actually drives pretty well. Parker, I think I missed that sneak peek. Yeah, like, the wheels do not turn, so I think it just uses, like, a tread-style zero-rotation method, or zero-turn method. Oh, Crumpet, do you remember- do you remember the show, BattleBots? I miss that show. Well, Blitteron, we're gonna finally see if we can fit it on a Nomad. Uh, Lisai, that's- that's what we're gonna find out. We're gonna see if it fits in a Nomad. I think it will. Like, this thing is a lot smaller than... Oh my god, AJ. Oh my god, this thing is tiny. <laughs> it's so tiny. It's so tiny. Ha <sighs> ha Yes, yes, this is... This is PTU, and our tiny, beepy... <sighs> oh yeah, hold on, hold on, power. Let me, let me retract the forklift. All right, zero turn, baby. Oh, that's getting kind of tight. I don't think it wants to do that. I mean, we might pull it off. Yeah, I got a little angry, but it looks like you can do it. Now, how am I going to get it out? Yeah, Crumpet, this is the best ground vehicle they've ever made. A Parker, like, 30. <laughs> well, no, Austin, it can actually... It's got zero turn. It's, it's a lawnmower. It's like a little Drake lawnmower. It's so cute. Yeah, AJ! And it's got some, some multi-wheel drifting, too. Like, this thing is adorable. Absolutely adorable. Alright, alright, let's deploy the forklift and see if we can buy another box. Just to, just to check. So, beeps incoming. Because apparently they have not made all the sound for this thing yet. Okay, that's engine. Are there any other buttons? Oh, no, this is a very, uh, simple industrial vehicle. Uh, beggar, I am an avocado. For better or for worse. Sometimes it's for worse, but for things like... Things like this, sometimes it's... Wait a second, if I buy a box, how am I gonna get into this thing? Let me, let me go check. Let me go check. Oh uh, yeah, power. They'll nerf it. Also, just so you know, it has no shields. <gasps> you know what? That would actually be an amazing stealth vehicle, I bet. Because, I mean, if you think about it, this thing has to have, like, zero EM, right? So you drop it off near Jump Town, and you just, you know... Ah, yeah, okay. It's like still only letting me buy one SCU. I'm not breaking the rules. It's not under NDA. Oh yeah, power. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. I wonder how stealthy this little thing is. Because there's no shields. There's no guns. You, you basically have a battery.
Oh yeah, AJ, that would be great. Uh, Obliteron, unfortunately the box in the back, I have no way to access it from, from here. Like, I bought one SCU of barrel, and that's what's in the back right now. Hey, Titan! But let's just, let's just take a look. Let's just take a look. This thing's heat is 262 IR198. It has an EM of 9. I think I've seen like Amish communities with a higher EM rating. They got telephones now. Hey Astro, yeah, it, uh, okay, so it's supposed to help load uh, cargo vehicles, but it's just adorable. It can carry one SCU itself, so apparently there's gonna be ground deliveries eventually, but it's, it's adorable, it's tiny, it fits in the back of a, of a nomad. Uh, negative Titan. I had to buy cargo to it. It might not be fully implemented. A lot of its sound is not implemented. Uh, the switches above are for, like, engines, things like that. So lock, unlock, open. Exit seat, engines off and on. Power off. And then this one retracts the forklift in the front. But yeah, like, look at this. This thing fits in a Nomad. Drink, everybody! you guys ground vehicles don't like me ground vehicles explode for me everything that i can do in the air is inversely in proportion to what i am unable to do on the ground um unfortunately while i can fly decently okay um Holy crap, I cannot drive anything without it exploding. <laughs> you know, introvertish, I, I actually wanted to get in the ship so I could see what its EM rating was like to see how stealthy those things were. Um, <coughs> I guess we're gonna go find out now. Tell you what, tell you what, we'll get another Nomad. Maybe, maybe it needs a small shield, you know, as a, as a treat. Um, I just, I just want to see, like, what the EM is like. Vehicle selected. Stand by. <sighs> you know, Geasley, I could believe that. I could, I could believe that. <laughs> Coyote, I, I, I was being gentle. I was being gentle. Wait, crap it, hold up. Sorry, I just saw your messages. Did you, did you clip that? Did you clip, you would clip me exploding. Why? You could, you could share that. You could drop that in the chat if you want to. <laughs> Uh, Astro, I think at the moment it's just, uh, just Eva Cotty, but I would love to be wrong. 
Uh, hopefully everyone has access to it so they can go, hey, this is pretty neat. Come on, let me up. Okay, let's go, let's go. Maybe, maybe Walla. Maybe I'll have better luck on Walla. Ah, I just... I want to see how stealthy the thing is. And then I'm probably going to have to call it. Because one, I want to spend some time with Crumpet. Oh yeah, Parker. Turn into like a, like a sumo wrestling battle bots thing. Man, that'd be fun. All right, what do we have over there? Shady Glen, good times. Ah, 048. Ah, oh, Sarone, that's, that's been happening on occasion. I had that issue earlier. Um, basically had to sit there and wait a while to get it back. Saron, you want to see the mule? I was I was just in it, but unfortunately my reputation with ground vehicles continues to hold true. Yeah, of course, Astro. Also it's it's Drake. You know, I gotta I gotta love for Drake. Yeah, Grib, that's what we're all thinking. Oh, you are on P- okay, yeah, yeah. Well, that sounds like a, a perfect Star Citizen bug right there, Sarone, is that it's, you know, not giving, uh, control back. See, this is all super rocky. This would be great terrain for, uh, for a mule. If, you know, I could survive in one. Hey, Dow. Yeah, I'm not on for long, man. I'm just on long enough to test out the Drake mule, see a few things with it, and then I'm probably going to have to dip because I already had a stream earlier, and like I said, I want to spend the rest of my night with Crumpet. But, uh, by golly, that Drake mule. Yeah, Parker, that's fair. That's fair, I'll take that as an apology for the Drake steel. Or, you know, the Cutlass steel. Dow, would you like to guess what the, uh, claim time is for the Drake mule? You see, Johnny, I try to abstain from blowing things up. Unfortunately, ground vehicles tend to blow up when I'm around. And not like, you know, oh, Jack's so good at ground combat. It's more of a do not allow Jack near anything with wheels. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle because system. that blew up just about standing still. Like, I was expecting it to blow up. Eight seconds. Its claim time is eight seconds. Hey, Gruff. And look at that, it's ready. Are you ready? Are you guys ready to see it? It's so tiny! It fits in a Nomad. And it has zero turn. So, if you don't mind a little scuffy, and, you know, probably just leaving the driver in there, you can actually fit two in a Nomad. Uh, you just don't want me doing it, because... Things tend to blow up when I'm involved.
You know, KR, that's a good question. Yeah, look at it. It's so tidy. Also, this is the fuel port. But yeah, I don't think it was supposed to be ready because uh, there's a lot of the sounds on it that aren't working. Like it has replace me beeps. Yeah, power. Like that's the thing. Like it takes me eight seconds to navigate the menu to, to get the thing, you know? Well, Johnny, I, I think my Nomad was fine. But yeah, this is this is the cute little uh we're gonna engage. Hey Pulse. Oh, Saron, that is weird. That's on PTU. Mad, they probably are. I'd have to get me a loot box to find out, but yeah. This thing fits in the back of a nomad. Please just take my word for it, though, because the last time I was getting it in there, it exploded. But it's so fun to drive. And check this out. Man, you want to make that turn, but you don't know if you can? It doesn't matter. It's got zero turn. On the spot. 360. Take that, Ursa. Eat your heart out, Grey Cat. Look what Drake can do. Oh, Gruff, sorry. I didn't see your joke, but I guess that was the same problem. But um, shh. Oh, yeah, the lights, the lights. <gasps> it's got lights! Look at that! Oh, they're cute! Let's see how bright they are. Uh, Johnny, it's supposed to be a cargo loader and a delivery van. Alright, there's a shadow. Okay, so the light's not too bad. I guess it works for, like, you know, driving slow in an industrial area. Hey, device! Uh, it's actually where it can fit one SCU of cargo. So you can drive around and drop off cargo. Now, unfortunately, I can't do that right now because we don't have the ability to just, you know, drop cargo. But yeah! Uh, yeah, Toe Cutter. It's A and D for zero turn. That's it, Crumpet. Drake eats. We'll drop off your picnic, then drink your milkshake. That's Drake for you. See ya. All right, tell you what, I'm going to try this one more time. Oh, Coyote. Uh, you know, Coyote, let's find out. Let's find out. We're going to make it up that mountain over there. Maybe. I might not make it up the mountain. But yeah, uh, the the emissions on this thing are ridiculously low. There's no shield, no guns. Um, uh, you know, Roball, I'm actually not wearing any armor. Uh, Gruff, I don't know. They usually don't give Ivakati paints for whatever reason. Uh, beggar defense con will be on Orison. Yeah, sorry, Roball. Now, I know you can stand on those little side areas to access the inventory as well. All right. We're going to climb this. I say that. We're probably not going to climb this because, again, I explode in ground vehicles. Max, we are in the Drake Mule. Come on. Oh, it's trying. That... Sir, that's not how you... What? What is it doing? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. Come on. That's not how wheelies are supposed to work. Come on! Ha! Oh, yeah, this thing... 
I mean, they call it a mule, but it's more like a goat. Look at that. Like, it's just, it's just driving up the mountain on the front wheels. Ah, uh, crumpet. Yeah, they should be available to rent during the expo. Oh my god, what are these tires doing? Chowdy, I hope you're happy. Uh, this thing is... Uh-oh. I think we've had a... We might have to go sideways. Hey, citizen! Oh no! No! Don't make me lose it! Okay, the wheels on this thing... The front wheels are too strong. I... I need... I need sideways traction, but I'm just gonna flip myself over. Yeah, power, like, I'm doing little bits of reverse. You know, Alexander, I actually did that earlier, and I made it through the kill wall. And uh, it turns out the closer you get to a planet's core, the hotter it gets. And I got to 4,300 degrees Celsius on our core. Titan, you're probably right. Actually, hold on. Let's just check something. Wow, we don't even have a self status. They just really believe in you not taking damage. Come on, mule. You can make it up this hill. I say that. We're already... We are greatly... I wonder if I should just zero turn and back it up. Do you think that would work? I'm gonna try it. Oh no! What? What is this? Okay, we're not even on the ground. What? What? How? How? Well, that works. A lot better than I want it to. Wow, this works a lot better than I want it to. <laughs> yeah, apparently so. If you just run into an issue, do a 180 and keep going. Oh no, I think I'm stuck. Yeah, crumpet. This thing is committing crimes against physics. Yeah, Bizgar, this thing is, uh... It's a very strong climber. Like... We basically have to do this because the front wheels are too strong. Nah, oh, Dave, I can make it back. How oh, this thing is, uh... It's doing the wheelie again. So, Coyote, does this count for climbing? Like, are you satisfied with the... Cl I've made... I've pretty much made the summit of this mountain. I'm gonna say this counts. Like, I think... I think this counts, right? Like, we've, we've come so far. Uh, Rogue, it's, uh... It's pretty decent. Uh, is that the top? Hold on. It also has zero turn, which is nice. Oh, introvertish, I'm not gonna send it. Hey, look at that, floating rocks. I just don't know if I can make it up the mountain because ground vehicles like to explode on me. Titan, that's a good question. It probably doesn't. Okay, Mule, what are you what are you doing? That's not how physics works. Like <laughs> crop it. <laughs> oh no! It's like as long as we have one wheel on the ground, we can like unicycle up the hill. Like, look at this. 
That's not... This, this shouldn't work like this. Ah. I mean, I love this thing. I'm going to buy one, but I'm never going to take it up a mountain again. But AJ, it's balanced against physics. I mean, this thing is running off a battery. <sighs> uh, classic, it's supposed to be able to, uh, load cargo onto cargo ships and also deliver cargo on, like, land-based routes. Uh, problem is, it's also one heck of a climber. Dow, I don't know, man. I exploded slowly driving it into a Nomad. Like, this thing actually fits in a Nomad. That's how small it is. In fact, since it has zero turn capability, you can load two into a Nomad. Hey, Stick! Good seeing you, man. How you doing? For those of you who don't know, Stick here runs probably, like, the largest active org on the Australian servers. Uh, Hikoa, we were in the Drake Mule, and I was told to climb this mountain. So, uh, we're currently temporarily the Drake Goat. Thank you, Toro, but I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. For some reason, we can drive on Invisible Mountain, because this thing just has ridiculous... Like, what is this? We're not, e we're not even on the ground! Yeah, so, okay. I don't know if you can see it, but it has a deployable forklift in the front. Uh, it doesn't doesn't have a use right now because, you know, we can't actually move cargo. Also, I don't think this thing is finished because they have a bunch of replace me beeps for sounds. Toro, I think we're going to do it. We're almost at the su- Is that another summit? I swear there's always another summit. Yeah, power. It's just, it's too strong in the front, you know. All right, Toro. I hope this counts right here, cause uh, I don't want to billy goat that one. It seems like every single time I get to a mountain, like I've already made it. I feel like I feel like Samwise. Like this is the furthest I've ever actually made it from an outpost in a in a ground vehicle. We well, see. Uh, that's actually what I want to do, Dow, is see what its EM is like. So, I'm going to try to make it back. Apparently, there's Invisible Mountain here. That's, that's what I'm driving on. Like, there is Mountain here that is not here. Like, what is, what is this? I don't know, I'm going kind of fast. Maybe I should slow down. I mean, Roval, I think it's true. This is the furthest I've ever made it in a ground vehicle. Oh, it's fine, Gruff. I'm just going to leave it on a, uh, on a landing pad and then fly away and see when I can detect it. Yeah, it's not the fastest ground vehicle, but it's probably the most fun. <laughs> oh no! Wow, I'm surprised I didn't explode. You know what, I probably shouldn't use the E word. Can't wait to see one of these in the Daymar rally. Uh, not yet, Nikolai. They don't have the transferable cargo yet. Like, at the moment, this thing has very little use. But, uh... 318 will be where you can mainly load cargo, and that's what this thing will be for. So it looks like they're selling it in uh, preparation for 318, because I guess 
CIG forgot to grab some dollars out of the, the couch. Yeah, this ain't the mule. This is this is the Drake goat. This thing can climb. Ah, but very low clearance. Whee! Yeah. All right, all right. But yeah, again, look at this zero turn capability this thing has. Perfect for getting into small places. Yeah, Nikolai, there's side racks that look like they can hold, like, the storage boxes. And it does have internal storage. Being gruff, that's also fair, but not everyone's gonna buy an X-Wing, you know? Ah, oh, it's so cute and tiny. Like, look at this. Like, finally, they built a vehicle, like a ground vehicle, that's not just overly large. You know? Alright, alright. So let's go, let's go see how far away we can fly. Hmm. Dave, good idea. I mean, can the thing stealth? Oh, Harley, that is a good question. I don't know. I mean, I could... I could find out. Yeah, Nikolai, like, it's got a little forklift. I think this thing is for uh, loading the individual SCU boxes instead of the 32 SCU boxes. Yeah, same, AJ. All right, let's stealth it up. That... That does nothing. Now, to be fair, this thing has two items. A power plant and a cooler. So, I don't... I don't think there's anything too stealth. I mean... I mean, look at that. Our EM is nine. Yeah, I'll try it tomorrow on the 400i. Uh, Nightshade, I don't know if it'll fit in the Vulture, but it does fit in the back of a Nomad. And yeah, Toe, it is sealed to outside. Like, it has its own sealed, you know, thing. Yeah, Patrick. I won't make it very far, but I would totally drive that. Okay, let's see what the EM is, and then, like I said, I'm gonna dive off. Can I not? Why? Ah. Oh. I cannot target that. Why can I not target that? Let me check my keybinds right quick. Hey, X crossed. Yeah, the beeping is uh, getting old. Crump, but that, yeah, that's it. That's what I'm going to do all tomorrow. Will it fit? Why? What is... I don't think I've got a keybind. Or... Yep, hostile, friendlies. Sub-target. That's all correct. I need one for in view. Actually, you know what? It might not be targetable since it's not, you know, out yet. So let's just fly away and see. Wow. Wow. You gotta really sneak up on that. Did, did you see that? Hey, Danny. Oh yeah, of course. We lose that at like 150 meters. Okay, well maybe not 100. Okay, 155. Okay, scanner picked it up there. Let's just keep going. Wow. 
Wow. Yeah, you'll see it before anything else. Holy crap. Stealth pickup. Yeah, okay, that's it. So about 260 meters is when we can actually pick it up. Crap, but that's a, I mean, you could probably still target the Nomad. Sorry, I'm waiting for that to go away. Wow. Yeah, all right, so... About 300 meters. Below 300 meters is when it's targetable. That is stealthy. Like, you can't even detect it until you're 300 meters. At that point, you go, oh, look, a hand mineable. That's right, Titan, but, but still. Like, you want to sneak into Jump Town? That's the vehicle to do it with. Holy smokes. 317.1 stealth vehicle of the year. That's it, RuPaul. <laughs> Smuggle buggy. Alright. I'm gonna... I said Ash. That's it. Alright, I'm gonna load this thing in the Nomad one more time. Hopefully I don't explode. And then I'm probably gonna end the stream, because we're going a bit longer than I anticipated. I just... I just really wanted to get my hands on the mule and, you know, show it off. They gotta fix these beeps, though. But again, I doubt this is supposed to be in players' hands right now, so... I'll forgive him for the beepy beeps. See, this thing can scan. That's a ship. 16.3 kilometers away. Unless this thing can just detect rocks that far. Come on. Scan? Eh, it doesn't want to scan. You know what? That's fine. It's not a scanner. Hey, Lonix. Uh, this is a new stream with the Drake Mule. It's so cute! It is so cute. Look at this thing. Also, uh, Lonix... It's super stealthy, can climb literally anything. I just climbed that mountain over there with it. And, uh, yeah, it has internal storage and everything. And it fits in a nomad if you don't explode. Because I explode, because ground vehicles and I don't get along. But yeah, look at that. It fits with so much room to spare. Yeah, Rafiki, you might be right. But yeah, 16 clicks. Yeah, like, look at this. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm probably going to explode, but again... Zero turn capability. And it gets a little dicey. Look at that, you just put the thing sideways. This is the best ground vehicle they have ever made since the Grey Cat. I mean, like, you know, the original buggy. Yeah, Rafiki. Like, you can pretty much back the thing all the way up right here, zero turn it, and then probably put in another one. Now, the problem is... Yeah, AJ, let's find out. I think I can get out, but, you know. Okay. So we've done that. Oh boy, moment of truth. Don't explode, don't explode, don't explode. Okay, so I don't think it likes it when you do that. But yeah, you can you can totally get out. Wow. It's so small. Yeah, Lonic, so it can hold one SU in the back. It has a hold on, let me see if I can get into it.
just gonna let that seating come up. Oh, AJ, I don't know about the and retract the bed. We might have to explore that tomorrow. So yeah, so Lonix, it carries one SCU of cargo in the in the back. That's what that little understorage is. And I assume you'll be able to drop it off later in, you know, 318. And via this button, deployable forklift. Ah, oh, do the X cross. Nice. And yeah, so like these have like the little gravity grid so you can fit the, the boxes in them. So you can carry more little boxes. Yeah, Parker, I don't think it's supposed to be be on PTU, but... Ah, uh, yes, Rafiki. Yeah, you could buy cargo to it. I bought a load of barrel to it, drove around, and exploded while loading it into a, a vehicle. But it's a fun zero-turn little climber. And, uh... It disappears off radar at about 170 meters. And even your long-range scanner can't pick it up unless you're within 300. So, uh, if you don't mind driving, it is one hell of a stealth ship. And look at this, it's sealed. Like, it's got windows. So you can just sit here in, in the, in the niceness, in the comfiness. Don't have to worry about getting torched. <gasps> Do you guys see that? They added the fan! They added the Drake fan. For those of you who might not remember, um, back in 2.0, the original Cutlass had a little fan that, like, basically hung down and, uh, and blew on you. And they added the fan to the Cutlass console again, like a smaller one. But, uh, yeah, they added the fan. The little Drake fan. Drake has the best fans. Oh, James, this is the... Oh, no, no, the mule, or the nomad's the same size. This thing is just tiny. Like, it's so tiny. But yeah, here, I'll buy cargo to it, and then, and then I'm gonna go, guys. I'm sorry. That's right, Crumpet. I am a Drake fan. Because, like I said, I want to spend some time with Crumpet. All right, so we're gonna buy diamond to our mule. It's our, our diamond pony. Let me, let me go. Let me go. There we go. Yeah, Ash, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, Nibor, morning. We got a hold of the Drake mule. So yeah, that's it. That's the cargo right there. Holds one SCU. These areas have a gravity grid so you can store the boxes and you can access the storage. I'm still looking for that storage button. Is that is that it? That's Oh, that is it. Okay. But yeah, it looks like they haven't finished adding all the sounds to this thing. What what are you? Oh! Oh my, what? What secrets do you hold? What do you... What do you do? Are, are you just a step? So we can, like, step up? I don't think that's right. Is there another one on this side? Can we... Just not. Yes, Crumpet, yes, for pizza delivery! I got a pizza delivery for Mr. Icy Wiener. I think that was a Simpsons episode. Oh, low tech, it's so nice. Uh, no, Adam. Uh, Eva Cotti gets access to some of the vehicles, and sometimes they mess up and give them out probably when they're not supposed to, because this thing is missing a lot of sounds for, uh,. It's interactables. We get a lot of beeps, for example. That's what it was, Panzer. Thank you. Futurama. Ah, 
Ah, uh, Alexander, you're probably right there. But yeah, one SCU has a deployable forklift in the front. Zero turn capability, can climb, at the very least, that mountain over there with relative ease. Um, it's, it's a fun little buggy. Yeah, I'm sorry, Patrick. It's been a long time since I've seen the first episode of Futurama. Yeah, Ras, like, okay, listen, this thing at the moment is useless. But man, is it fun to drive. Here, I'll, I'll show you the, the forklift. See? See, and, you know, you can turn the headlights off and on. Uh, Irish, it can't drop the box yet. I believe it'll be able to in 318 when the, uh, the cargo refactor comes online. Because that's when you'll be able to, you know, deploy and transfer cargo. But, uh, for those of you who weren't here when we were testing the stealth, this thing is insanely stealthy. It drops off regular radar at about 150 meters and long-range scanners can't ping it over 300 meters. So, uh, if you're pulling some Mongrel Squad-style stuff and trying to sneak into a place to monitor it for who's coming and who's going, the Mule is probably the top-notch stealth reconnaissance vehicle. Not to mention, since it's sealed, you can go sit on Ariel without cooking yourself. And it's just fun to drive. Like, look at this. It's it's perky. It's just happy to be included, you know? It's like a golden retriever. Hey, Death. Yeah, zero turn, headlights, forklift, like, it's got it all. Uh, low tech, the, the racks can actually hold, uh, like the storage containers you can buy. But okay, okay, I gotta go now. I gotta go. Because I've been at this long enough. And I said it was going to be a short stream. And we've already gone an hour. Uh, death, it's going to be a combination pickup truck and forklift. I'm sorry, death. I, I mean, the, the stream will be here. It sure is, Moonshadow. It's tiny. Um, for those, okay, quick rundown for those who just got here. It fits in the back of a Nomad. Technically, if you put it sideways, it fits two of them. Uh, it's got zero turn capability, like so. The thing can climb mountains with ease. I climbed, I think, that one over there. This thing has ridiculous front wheel drive. Oh, Moon, this thing fits in a Nomad. You could probably fit six of these in an MSR. Uh, AJ, we can find out. We can find out. We're all here. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to do more extensive testing with it to see if it'll fit in the 400i. Yeah, Frenzy, it's probably got a either tractor beam or maybe it just brings the cargo for people to then tractor. Yeah, Bonzi, this is probably be the way to go. You just park it outside. Carry your loot boxes in, then mount the loot box of this. And of course, Death, in true fashion, I've uh, accidentally already exploded one while calmly parking it in a Nomad. Uh, Jaden, it came out today. This is technically still in PTU, so it's not even on the live servers yet. Uh, I guess I could have parked it further back. Yeah, it's got plenty of room up top. But yeah, like, it's just... It's adorable. Yeah, it's basically like a like a tiny rock. And, uh, yeah, it will have LTI. Moon, it hasn't gone up for sale yet. It'll probably go up for sale either on the 20th or whenever Defense Con rolls around for Drake. Nah, Alexander, it's just, uh, it's in testing. It's on the test branch, like it's supposed to be. It's getting tested. All sorts of tests. Test, test, tests. 
Can you climb up there when... I guess you can't when you're in 1G gravity. Oh, well, you can probably still put a box up there. But yeah, so tomorrow, at our regular time, we'll do more Drake mule testing. And, uh, you know, get some boxes. Maybe visit a bunker. Play with this fuel port. Because that's, that's just fun. And... And yeah. Yeah, Moon, looks like you can put the boxes up there. They have a have a perfect fit. But alright, alright, alright. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do all that tomorrow. Uh Jaden, this is the mule, this little this little buggy we've been driving. So yeah. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to wrap it up there, otherwise I'm gonna go forever. So guys, please enjoy yourselves. I'm sure there are a ton of other streams right now that also have the mule. And um We'll do some more exploration with it tomorrow. So please enjoy yourselves. Have a wonderful night. Uh, Bonzi, it'll probably be anywhere from starting from 1 to 2 p.m. Central. Uh, I stream in America. I usually say 1 p.m. Central, but I'm going to be honest. Sometimes I don't get started till 2. I'm, I'm a bad streamer. Um, but yeah, we'll pick it up tomorrow. We'll have more fun with the mule. We'll see if it fits in the 400i. And, uh, we'll do a bunch of other testing. So, guys, please enjoy yourselves. Have a wonderful night. And, uh, you know, dream of, dream of mules. And I will catch you tomorrow. Have a good night, guys.